In this video, we are going to learn Team Leaf Templating Engine. We will create a Team Leaf Templating Engine based project. We will add our HTML document. We will show that HTML document on Pacific URI using the controller. We have assets folder inside static folder, and we will learn how to add tags from Team Leaf Templating Engine, such as this URI tag. Welcome back guys, this is Always back with the next video of Spring Boot Essential Training Series. Now in the last few videos we've seen how to set up Spring Boot environment, how to create a controller, how to create a project, how to use the Spring Initializer. Now in this video I want to talk about this uh, templating engine called Team Leaf. So I have this project here, but you might be wondering where this project come from, where all these packages come from. Now I want to show you how you can simply create a project using Spring Initializer. Now I've done a few videos, if you're following along my tutorial series, then you should understand this, how to use Spring Initializer. But I quickly show you how to generate a project using Spring Initializer. Now let's click on Generate Now. And the next page, I'm going to click on switch to full versions. I'll click on full version and I'll name my group and artifact ID, name of the project, description of the project, package name, packaging, which is set to jar, Java version 1.8. So we can check our Java version as well. So just quickly, I'm going to show you CMD and then we go Java dash version command here will tell you what Java version do you have. So it's 1.8. So we make sure we select Java 1.8 version. And down here we can select the dependency. So we are creating a web application using Spring MVC and Tomcat as our server. We can select this web and then I've talked about this uh, theme leaf. That's what I'm going to teach you guys. So we select this theme leaf and then we can select JPA for the database and H2 for database support and that's pretty much it is then you click on generate project it will create a project and it will download that into your default a download folder and then after that you can open that into IntelliJ IDR or you are using Eclipse or Eclipse or NetBeans whatever ID you're using now I've generated that project and I've opened that default project in IntelliJ IDEA so let's look at the project structure here so we have this main directory inside that we have a Java directory and then we have a package in the package I have this gallery app application which this code is generated uh, by our project it's a default code basically it says this is a Spring Boot application that's an annotation and then we have a public wide main method Java application required main method that's what we have and then we have this Spring application dot run method on it and then we call our application class name by using dot class method and then args right so this is just the default uh, generated project now we have another directory called resources it is for our team leaf templating engine we have two directories static and template so all of your html file is going to go into template folder because the team leaf uh, templating engine is going to look in this directory named templates and then in the static, all your CSS, JavaScript, images, videos, or any kind of uh, files you want to put into your application, that's going to go into static folder. So we have these two folders created by default. We have another application uh, dot properties file, which basically I've set the server dot port method is equal to 800. So when we start our Tomcat server, it will start on 8000. By default, it's 8080. Okay, so now let's look at the POM file. So this is a default uh, POM file created by the project. As you can see, we have the group ID, whatever we type there, packaging jar, name, description, parent, and then we have some dependencies here. So we have the Spring Boot, dependency Spring Boot dot boot, and here you can see we're using Theme Leap Templating Engine. Right, so this is a default project generated by Spring Initializer. Now, first of all, what I wanna do here in the Java directory, I'm going to create another package. First of all, let's create a package and name it controller. Okay, we got another package there. I'm going to create a Java class here. Let's name it controller. And then it's the controller class. I'm just going to remove these comments and I'm going to annotate this class by typing 
controller, which will tell our Apple Springboard application that this is the controller we're trying to access. And we'll write the method in a second, but now let's uh, look at our theme leaf templating engine and create some HTML files. So first of all, we're gonna go right click on this template folder, right click and then go to HTML file. And then here we'll just name it home. Let's type enter. And this is a default, uh, like, you know, when you create a HTML file, this is what you have to put in. So we'll just say here in the title, so what's gallery app application or whatever the name you want to give it to it. It's weird. Should be gallery app, not a gallery app application. And here we'll just type H1 and I'll just say gallery app. Let's come down and then type P here. And then if you type lorem and press tab, lorem, press tab, it's going to, this is a shortcut key in IntelliJ IDEA if you want to just write down all those lorem, lorem ipsum uh, text here. And then we can add an image as well. Let's come down here. And I'm going to type the image tag here. Uh, we need to give a source as well, but we don't have any images yet. So I'm going to actually a file, which is going to be a CSS file. So let's click on file and then let's just name it style.css. And then I'm going to create in the static, I'm going to create another directory, which is going to name assets. And now as you can see, we got the assets are actually there. I'm going to paste a few images from uh, my computer to in this folder so we could use that in our HTML file. I'm going to just pause the video and I just copy and paste a few images. All right, we got one image there. So I'm just going to right click on the image and I'm going to click on copy relative path. I'm just going to paste that here. So right click and paste it there. All right, so one more thing, the team leaf template follows the HTML5, so it needs a self-closing tag as well. In the matter tag, you can see here, we don't have a self-closing tag, which is going to give you an error. So we just typed forward slash here to make it the self-closing tag. And then we need a self-closing tag for image as well. I'm gonna save this file. And as you can see, our HTML file is in the template folder. We have the static folder, which has a assets directory, and we have a CSS file as well. Now let's go to controller file, and here we are going to type a method first. So let's just say public return is string. I would just say home page, right? And then we're going to return just simply add your HTML file name, what is going to be an index or home page of HTML. So let's just say home and that's pretty much it is. Now to make it controller, we need to annotate it with the controller annotation. So add a controller annotations. We got the automatic import as well on the top. Now to add a mapping. So obviously you want to tell the Tomcat servers that you want to open this HTML file, which is home.html on what link on your server is it going to be on your home so if you open the local host column 80 or 8000 where it should appear this so what I can do here I'm going to type an annotation request mapping and here we're going to give a value so let's type value and just type slash for the home uh, home path now let's save the file and let's start our server. So I'm just going to stop the server first and let's just run it. And let's see if we are able to get our home.html file through our controller. Right, so it's starting and I'm gonna just make sure a few things here. We got this mapped, but we got an error here. Okay, so we got an error even if I go and try open that 8000 it's going to give me an error which basically white label error page which means saying it's basically saying there is no code to generate so i'm going to close this and the error we have is basically we have this uh, controller package and we have the controller here we actually need to import that instead of just importing that i'm actually going to copy or cut this uh, package and drop that inside of our com.gallery app. And I'm going to click on 
OK, and then click on a refactor. And now as you can see on the top, we got the package and it's in the same package, so we don't have to import that anymore. Let's stop the server and then I'm going to start the server again and let's see if we get the same error this time or not. OK, the server is starting and we're going to just find out in a few seconds. OK, so as you can see, we got this map which is uh, indicating to our home directory by typing slash. Now let's open this uh, local host 8080, sorry not 8000, there we go. So we are actually getting the HTML document through our controller now. There's an error for the image that might be because we didn't give us the right path. Other than that, the over page looks nicer. Now, the last thing we want to talk about in this video is like a uh, web application. Let me define to you guys web application. Now you have a front end and you have a back end. So for the back end to manipulate the data and everything, you will use Java or you can say Spring Boot as your framework. For the front end, you still need to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And if you want to style your CSS and HTML, like HTML document, you can use the framework called Bootstrap. I'll drop a link in the description of the complete Bootstrap training I've done on my channel. And you can watch that and you will have an idea how to style your HTML uh, pages. All right, so next thing we want to do is we want to attach the CSS file into your HTML file. Now, let's do that first. So first of all, I'm going to type here link tag and then here I'm going to type href and now we're going to, have to give a part of our CSS file. Now, instead of uh, giving this a relative part, I want to use the theme leaf templating engine stuff here. First of all, let's go to CSS file and we're going to tag this to h1 and I want to type here a background color I would just say purple right let's save the file so it will tell us that is our CSS file is properly attached now let's go to HTML file and here first of all let's just add this uh, rel tag as well so rel make it style sheet and here in uh, href I want to type here I've got a code here so here we type at and then we add a curly braces and then slash style.css and let's close that and now what it's basically doing is going to look our static folder and inside of our static folder it's going to look for this style.css file so this add sign and this uh, slash here basically team leaf templating is going to go look for a resources directory and then inside that it's going to look for a static directory and then it's going to look for our css file just want to make sure that I have the CSS file in a static directory. Now we want to tag this to our theme leaf engine. So we type th and then we type colon. Right now it's giving an error if I just hover over my cursor to this. It's saying namespace th is not a bound because it doesn't know what is it. So to fix that, we can go to our HTML uh, tag and here I'm going to type x m l n s and then i'm gonna type colon th and i'm gonna type here is equal to and inside that we're going to give a part of uh, www.team i want to check the spelling so that was thyme leaf.org and i'm gonna save the file and now as you can see that the red color on th is gone so now it knows what I what we mean by th. Okay, so let's save the file. I'm going to start the server again. And let's just start it. And as you can see in the CSS file, we did styling for our h1 tag and we have only one h tag, h1 tag in our HTML file. Now once it starts, I just want to go to localhost. So let's start localhost 8000 and then it's giving me an error again, white space error page. So we're going to find out what's happening here. Okay, as I mentioned before, team lift and link engine follow the HTML file. So we forgot to add this self closing tag here. So we type forward slash, which will fix the error. I'm going to stop the server 
and we're gonna restart the server again so let's just start that again and now let's look at it so this is the most important thing in this video you target with xmlns colon th you tell this uh, that what we mean by th and then then you use that in any of your link now it's been started we're gonna go to localhost 8000 and let's see what we have and there we go so right now you can see our h1 background is set to purple and this is because now theme leaf template language already know where is our CSS file now in our HTML file we can use this th annotation or you can call it tag and you we can use this at sign and then link over files which will automatically be uh team leaf automatically go and look for that file in our static and folder and then if you want to add this assets folder and add this subscribe the jpeg file we can just type slash here which will go to the next folder we'll look at how do we use the team leaf template engine url tag to add the image now i have this uh, subscribe image but I'm gonna actually copy some other images as well to this assets folder. So we're just gonna go to desktop and I have this GIF image, happy computer. I'm actually gonna rename this happy to make it easier. So I'm just gonna copy this. We go back to IntelliJ IDEA. I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna paste it here. I'm gonna click okay. And there we go, we got one GIF image there. Now instead of using this uh, image, what I want to do, I want to delete this source tag and then I'm going to first uh, add a tag th before the source tag and then here we add a URL tag from team leaf and then here uh, whenever you type the URL tag it's going to go look into our static folder right so we have our happy gift image inside our assets folder so we type slash assets and then inside that we have this happy.gif image okay now let's save this and I'm gonna stop the server and let's restart our server by clicking on this play button and now we have used our team leaf URL tag here I've actually forgot to do this uh, slash here oh sorry curly brace bracket and uh, yep look so right now we forgot this color braces so we're gonna stop the server and i'm going to start the server again i'm gonna wait so let's just go to this is our app already on the local host tomcat server started i'm gonna refresh this and there we go we are getting our image in our html document using this url tag uh from team leaf templating engine okay guys so this is it for this video guys the next video is more important because we are going to add a model of our data and then we're going to add more images to make our gallery app and we are going to use that model and manipulate our images data and dynamically show the images in the next video so stay tuned for that make sure you subscribe i have a second channel as well so if you want to watch some tips and tricks videos so subscribe that as well i've got a link in the description all right thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one cheers